Good morning, everyone. It's me, Kenny. I'm finally back out on the California Delta. Man, it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video. I apologize, guys. But anyways, I'm out here chasing this high outgoing tide. Hopefully these fish cooperate. You know, enough talk, man. Let's just go fishing. Got one. Another one. This one's better. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. This one's better. Oh, man. Starting off the morning with a little fat piggy right here. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, you know what? Let me put my rod over here. Oh man, this guy's fat. Cool. Cuda gripper, lip gripper. Man. Heck yeah, look at that. That's a good first fish of the morning. Right there, y'all. That's a healthy two and a half. He came off! Dang it! He came off, man. That was a good one. Golly! That was a good one. There we go. Yeah. Finally got one. There we go. This guy wasn't as big as the first one I lost, but man, it's a fish. Heck yeah. First frog bass of the day, y'all. It's time to get a measurement. See a little dude. Back to covering water. You know, I'm targeting this frog bite on uh, the last two hours of the outgoing tie. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that it doesn't put a lot of water over their heads. Like the minute it lands, if they're gonna commit, they're gonna commit like right there and then. They don't have all the time in the world to think about it compared to a higher tie. But for me personally, my favorite tides to frog is an incoming or outgoing tide. But if I'm bank fishing, I want a max high tide because I'm on the bank, so I need all the water I can get. But when I'm on my kayak, I like an outgoing or incoming tide. To me, that just spells money. But the fish have been stingy today, man. This cold wind is definitely not it. 
They've been stingy. Oh! Oh my god, you almost had it! Oh, you almost had it. I felt the wave with the freaking wind! There we go. He came back. Oh, yes. He came back. Yeah. Oh, he came back. That's cool, man. <laughs> he came back. That's a healthy frogfish right there. Barely got him. Heck yeah. Good old frogfish, man. Alrighty, goodbye frogfish. Alrighty guys, I think I'm gonna put away the frog for now. Uh, I'm not getting bit on it no more. I think that shallow water bite died. The tide has dropped out. Time to fish kind of deep. Oh, got one from the wood. Yep, right from the wood. There we go. He just wanted to take a bite. It's a good one. little fat crankbait bass oh huh, look at that shoulder he got it's a pretty big shoulder all right see ya Came out right from the piece of wood at the end of this wood. Oh yeah. Wood bass, wood bass. There we go. Man. It's good old wood bass. So there's the piece of wood right there. That's where he came out from. Goodbye, wood bass. Oh, yep, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, it's got the last treble hook. I'm fishing skinny water. Yo, yep. Oh yeah, man. They're way back here too in this creek. Well, I'm glad I came back to this little creek. Apparently, they got fish back here too. Off you go. Man, I've never been back here in this creek, but I'm glad I came back here because it seems like there's fish. And I'm just cranking the outside uh, primrose mats.
this is like on the last hour of the outgoing tie so it is pretty shallow back here but oh i just had another one hit it oh my gosh but yeah um i wonder how shallow this creek gets it's probably getting shallower and shallower I mean, this is skinny backwaters right here but you know there's fish here look at that <laughs> oh, there's a small guy yeah I mean, yeah there's freaking fish back here i might just start throwing the drop shot around because it's so shallow back here there's some veg but I mean, it seems like they're chasing it's still wanting to chase, so. Oh, it looks like the right side is deeper. I'll fish the right side. Yeah, this creek was formed from all the rainstorms and floods. And, you know, it just started etching out. And it's going way back here. Well, this is my kind of fishing, man. Fishing a creek. <laughs> Oh my god, I literally just seen him come up and eat the crank. But these are the wrong sizes, man. These are the ones that you can get treble hooks in your hands. <laughs> Alright, stay still for me, buddy. I think the nursery school's back here. So yeah, man, just fishing outside grass. And uh, in the middle of this creek because it's so shallow. Not sure if there's any big ones back here. Maybe on a higher tide. I feel like the bigger ones will be back here. But this is not bad. I mean, I like fishing skinny backwaters like this. Ooh, it gets really shallow here. Yeah, I think I'm going to turn back. It gets really, really shallow. I got to come back here on a higher tide, man. They're definitely a higher tie. The light blue gear almost took my push bait. There goes a the punch bass. Never mind. False alarm, y'all. Not a bluegill, but it's a bass. <laughs> it's a small little, small little guy. All right, come on, chill, dude. He's not gonna help my cause. Nice little punch bass. See ya, dude. All righty, guys. Well, that's it, man. Uh, I'm filming my outro here because. I got beat up by the wind really bad. I'm just too tired to even film out there. But yeah, man, the morning, it started off really cold and the wind was already blowing. It didn't even feel like summer anymore. It felt like fall. So I had such a hard time adjusting and just trying to make the right cast at the right angles. But I caught two frogfish, missed two frog bites, caught a couple crankbait bass. I'm using the color shad scale. And for the frog, you know, it's just orange, green, and you know i think the wind has something to do with the bite and the bite was i thought it could have been better but you know i'll take whatever catches i can get out there as always guys like and subscribe and i'll see you guys at the next fishing session and i'm gonna drop uh, some frog fishing footage that i got while i went fishing two days afterwards after work so hopefully you guys enjoy that as well and i'll see you guys next time That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my god. Yo. Yep, there we go. That's a big one. 
Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah. That's a big one. That's what I'm talking about right there, man. Finally, this is a big one. There we go. It's like a four pounder. Alrighty, thank you, beautiful. It's a three pounder. Yeah. <laughs> Chill out, buddy. <laughs> I got one. There we go. Look at him. Look at this fish. He got a weird hump. Super thick. This guy's like a bodybuilder in the bass world. I mean, look at that. Alrighty. See ya, I'm back. <laughs> right in the boat. Right in the boat. <laughs> That was fun. Chill, buddy, chill. Little dinker. Hee <laughs> hee, frog bass, man. Alrighty, goodbye, little frog bass.